New details emerge in the vicious murder of a notice gas station clerk just a short time ago. The Canyon County Sheriff's Office released new surveillance video from inside the store. And for the first time, they are saying there is a potential threat to the public. On your side, Chris Oswald is live in Canyon County at the courthouse. Chris. Good evening, Don. The security video is the only thing that investigators have to go on, and frankly, some of it is very disturbing. They hope by releasing it that someone will see something that they know and will be able to find the suspects responsible for killing 25-year-old Christopher Reese. Armed and ready to kill. That's how the Canyon County Sheriff's Office says two men walked into the Jackson's convenience store just before 3 Wednesday morning. It's clearly evident by this short clip showing one of the suspects dressed in camouflage walking in the store with an assault rifle in hand. A second clip of video shows a second man dressed in jeans and a black sweatshirt entering the store with a dolly. Police say that dolly was used to remove the store safe. This is an extremely unusual, in our opinion, unusual type of crime for not just Canyon County, but the state of Idaho. This is a very violent crime. It's a very, uh, obviously, direct and deliberate crime. The sheriff say at some point, the two suspects shot and killed the store clerk, 25-year-old Christopher Reese of Parma. He wouldn't say if Reese was shot before or after the safe was stolen. We have a lot of, it, we have a lot of information. We have a lot of evidence that we are processing at this time. Uh, there's some of those facts I can't speak to, obviously, to protect the integrity of the case. With both suspects completely covered from head to toe, investigators are asking the public for help identifying them. They want anyone who knows someone with similar clothing or the item seen to call police. They're also issuing a warning to the public. That these two individuals, as you've seen from the video and the still shots, are extremely dangerous. Obviously, a young man has lost his life at the hands of these individuals, uh, 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 we believe and that uh, they're still out there. They're still out there, and right now we do not have them identified. Police say they are following up on several leads they have not panned out. They're asking anybody who has any information, no matter how small you may feel it is, to call police. Also new today, the Jackson Corporation upped its reward to $25,000. Reporting live in Caldwell, Chris Oswalt, Today 6 on your side.